geometry students to the video today. In this video, we will be studying translations a little more in depth, okay? Now, so far, don't forget, we have looked at three transformations, translations, rotations, and reflections. The two that we have studied in depth have been reflections and rotations. Today, we are going to study translations a little more in depth, okay? Really? Just 
just like an ordered pair XY on a coordinate plane. Okay, so that's really basically it. Um, when a vector is used to describe a translation, we call this vector a translation vector because this vector is used to describe what happened to the translation. Okay, so we call this a translation vector. All right. Now, to be honest with you, that's about as hard as this lesson gets, but we still need to practice. So go ahead and turn your books to page 348. We're going to work on numbers 1 through 8 together, okay? Should be an E right there, together, all right? So I'm going to pause for a second, go ahead and get out your books, uh, turn to page 348, and we're going to work on numbers 1 through 8 together. Now, understand, um, <clears throat> you're going to do these eight problems in your notes, okay? So um, these problems will go in your notes, and feel free totally feel free to work ahead, but make sure that you are getting the problems correct. If you are not, then you need to fix them so they are correct, okay? So feel free to work ahead, but if you make a mistake, you need to fix your mistake, all right? So here we go. Um, let's go ahead and get started. If I'm going too fast, uh, Miss Frampton or whoever the supervising teacher is, please pause the video, okay? Here we go, number one. Now, <clears throat> Numbers 1 through 4, the direction state say to state the vertical and horizontal change for the translation vector. Now remember, blue is always your pre-image, okay? So we're starting here. We're going 3 to the right and then 3 up. Well, that's a positive 3 and a positive 3 movement. So the vector for number 1 would be 3, 3, okay? 3, 3. Number 2, here's your pre-image right here, okay? Well, notice we went down 10, and then to the left, 5. So, my left-right number is 5. And my vertical number is 10. Now, the reason it's a negative 10 is because I'm going down. Remember, here's my pre-image, so I went down 10. And the reason the 5 is negative is because I went to the left 10. Or, I mean 5, excuse me, so down 10 and over 5 to the left. So there's your vector, negative 5, negative 10. Okay, now, <coughs> be, very, be very careful on numbers 3 and 4. Notice the tick marks are in 2s. Okay, so let's deal with this vertex right here. Okay, this vertex right here went to this vertex right here. So let's see how high up it went, okay? From here to here is 1. Because remember, all the way between two spaces is 2. So halfway up is 1, plus 2, plus, plus here is 3. That's a total of 3. Look at it again if you need to. I went up half a step, that's worth 1. Then a whole step, that's worth 2. Now, I'm going over to this point here. I'm going to go half a step, that's 1. Then 2 more, that's 3. 2 more, that's 5. And then a half a step, that's 1. That's 6. So if you count all those up, from blue I went up 3, that's positive. And then over 6, um, that's also positive. So my left right number is 6, positive. My vertical number is 3, positive, because I went up to the right. So the, the vector is 6, comma, 3. Okay, students, here we go. Now, let's, it doesn't matter which vertex we pick. We'll just pick this one here. And it's being moved down to here. Now, first of all, we're going to go over one whole space. So that's two. Then we're going to go down a half. That's one. And then a whole. That's two more. And then two more. So it's a total of five. One plus two plus two. And then a half. That's one. So this whole distance here would be six. So I went to the left two. And I went down 6, so negative 2, negative 6, negative 2, negative 6. And do you see, students, it really all comes down to recognizing which object is your pre-image and which one is your ending image or your final image, okay? All right, here we go. Um, in exercises 5 through 8, L is parallel to M, okay? ABC is reflected in line L. And ABC, A prime, B prime, C prime, is reflected in line M, okay? So 
this triangle here is reflected um, across this line to this triangle, and then this triangle here is reflected across this line to this triangle over here, okay? Here we go, question number five. Which triangle is a translation of A, B, C? Now guys, come on, think about this. We know it can't be this one. Get this drilled into your heads now. Translations never turn. They don't rotate, they don't turn. So look, this triangle here is going this direction. This triangle is totally flipped. So there's no way those two triangles can be translations. But look at this one over here. This triangle right here is facing the exact same direction as this one here. So the blue triangle was simply just slid over to here. So this red triangle is a translation of the blue triangle. Okay, so it would be A prime, B prime, C prime, or double primed, you could call it. A, B, C double primed would be the triangle. Okay, and there it is. Okay, number six, which lines are perpendicular to A, A? All right, A prime, A double prime. So, it'd be this line right here. So, which lines are perpendicular to that line? Well, line L. Is perpendicular and line M would be perpendicular okay so the answer would be line L and line M okay all right moving on to number um, <clears throat> number seven name two segments that are parallel to BB um, so here we go two segments that are parallel to B all the way to B double primed over here. Well, guys, there's a lot of them. Here's one segment. That'd be one right there. This would be one from here to here. This would be one from here to here. This would be one from here to here. This would be one from here all the way to here. And this would be one from here all the way to here. So any of those would suffice, okay? And here's the list of them right here. Any of those lines would be parallel to this line right here, okay? Now, <coughs> moving on to number eight. If the distance between L and M is three, what is the length of C um, double pr C to C double primed. So um, the distance between L and M is three. So here's L and here's M. So the distance from here to here would be three. Okay. What is the length of C? Um, uh, C C double primed. Now, students, please watch this carefully, okay? They're asking for the distance from here all the way over here, okay? Now, please watch how I do this. Look, I know, from, now watch this, students. I know from here to here is three. Now, I don't know if that's one and a two. I don't know if it's, you know, one and a half, one and a half. I don't know, but I know the whole distance is three. So, I know that the distance from uh, here to here, from here to here, and then from here to here is also three. So from here, I'm going to change colors. Now watch this. This is really obvious, okay? From here to here is how long? Three. Now, see this piece right here? That's the same as this piece right here. So this piece here is the same as this piece here. Now, see this piece here that goes through the triangle all the way to here? Well, this piece right here is the same as this piece here. So I have from here to here is three. And then this piece plus this piece also has to be another three because this piece right here fits right here and this piece here fits right here. So even though I do not know the length of this segment here and even though I do not know the length <coughs> of this segment right here, I know when you put this segment and this segment together, you will get three because again, this
this segment here falls right on top of this segment right here. And this segment here falls on top of this segment here. So I have 3 plus 3. The answer would be 6. Okay? The answer is 6. Now, students, I can spend a lot more time going over your notes. There's really no need to do that. Um, your homework will be very similar to this. You're going to have to think like usual, watch the help video, and get help. 